Hey movie fans! Pretty excited to tell you about a movie that we saw this last weekend on its opening night. Best night to go to the movies. <laughs> so fun. The movie's called... 65. And what is that in reference to? A million years ago, a visitor crashed landed on Earth. Could they have maybe just called the movie 65 million years ago? Maybe. Would that have made more sense? When I first heard of an Adam Driver movie called 65, I thought it'd be a racing movie. <laughs> I can drive 65? So, yeah. <laughs> I guess Sammy Hagar saying 55, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, 65 million years ago, it's a dinosaur movie. I just remember like when I first heard of it, you actually were the first one to tell me about it, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was just like, oh, well, that's cool. Let's do a dinosaur movie that's not Jurassic Park. Right? Yeah. And that, that had me sold. I was like, I'm interested in that. It could be cool. A thriller dinosaur movie. Right, yeah, not like a... The Good Dinosaur, The Land Before the... Time, We're Back. Yeah, live Back action. Thriller. Thriller. I mean, you see him in the picture, he's got like a gun, and it's all futuristic. So I, I kind of thought, going into it, I kind of thought it was, you know... Time travel. A time travel story, yeah. where he went back to 65 million years ago, but... The sci-fi nature of this movie actually changes that up a little bit, yeah. where it's not a time travel situation. It's set up where Mills, Adam Driver's character, is from a different universe, a different planet that existed 65 million mm -hmm. years ago, and Earth is the uncharted territory that he crash that lands, he crash on. lands on. Yeah. yeah, which just so happens to be 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs were on Earth. But right before they weren't. <laughs> so yeah, the timing, the setting of it makes for some good thrills. Um, is it a coincidence that he lands on right before the asteroid comes? No, it is plot. Yeah, that, that's why it's written that way. That's why it's written that way. <laughs> <laughs> it is plot. It is plot. <laughs> that's so perfect. But yeah, uh, overall, let's just tell everybody what we thought. Did we like it? I loved it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was great. It was great. Not a quality movie. I mean, the acting is still very great. I would you say got, the acting was really good. Really good. Yeah. You've got, obviously, Adam Driver has established a name for himself. He's getting bigger outside of his Kylo Ren. Not just Kylo Ren yeah. anymore, huh? And Ariana Greenblatt. Up and coming, keep an eye on her. She's been in millions of things already. At this point, <laughs> she's great in it all, and it's so cool to see her portray a character that she definitely would have no real life experience to draw on because yeah. it's such a sci fi thriller situation in the first place, and she's non verbal. Yeah. For it, the yeah. majority of the movie, she knows six words in <laughs> the same language as Mills, so... Yeah, it's kind of cool. So, like, for a lot of the movie, Adam Driver has to act by himself. Mm -hmm. um, but there really are just these two characters. And then, yeah, her character, Koa? Koa, Koa yeah. That's she right. is from the same planet as Adam Driver's character, but speaks a different language. So, like... That's interesting, and it's from the creators or writers of A Quiet Place, right? Yes. And so they kind of like this, let's put you in a spot where you can't really just talk things <laughs> out, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the sign language that helps in A Quiet Place, but yeah. Uh, would you say this movie is very similar to A Quiet Place or not very similar? Kind of has the same thrill vibes. You've got mm -hmm. the mysterious creatures that are out to get you. You're in survival mode. Uh -huh. It's very intense and not a super scary way. Like, it's an enjoyable yeah. scary. Yeah. You so, take the whole family. <clears throat> I know Adam Driver was excited about that. It's a very family <clears throat> PG-13. Yeah. Her. Yeah, it totally is a PG-13, but I would say... Not even close to as scary as A Quiet Place. Was. No, not not as scary. Which, which A Quiet Place was nice because it was more focused on thrills, intensity, but still those big alien things. That's pretty scary. Which dinosaurs are also. Yeah, but we scary. know about dinosaurs. Yeah. So if I think kids I mean, were okay with the Jurassic movies, yeah, they'd totally be fine be with this one. I don't think it it pushes too far yeah. in the scary that way. So. That's kind of nice to know. Very intense. But it is intense. And what's cool about this movie is it's only an hour and a half. Like, who makes an hour and a half long movies nowadays, you know? 
Usually it's like, well, this one's three hours and seven minutes. <laughs> An hour and 33 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> we can handle that. But honestly, it's kind of nice that it's only an hour and 33 minutes because it is straight action. Like, yeah. if they skimped on anything. Okay, no, I can't even say that. They <laughs> definitely skimped on narrative in this movie, <laughs> right? It's not about... Mm a deep story no it's not about let's really get to know these characters in such a deep way but even then i think the actors yeah, do they so did well so well the movie doesn't try to take itself more seriously than what it is and that's all it is is it's a fun action with exciting characters yeah like very likable you know action yeah it, because it's so short doesn't get repetitive at least i didn't feel like it got repetitive no it just kept coming and coming and it was it was able to build without being a slow burn but also without just jumping to too big of a part too soon yeah totally yeah. totally so that yeah that runtime totally helps and yeah and it's just i mean you just kind of have to know that going into it mm -hmm. but that's what you're gonna get <laughs> don't go in with huge expectations right it's just it's just a dinosaur sci-fi thriller. <laughs> and really that hour and a half is great because this movie is an out of the frying pan and into the fire adventure. Like, that's what it is. And you'll see that as you watch it. It's just from one thing to another, the action just keeps going. Right? Yeah. So, super cool. We had a way fun time with it. Um, we kind of compared it to A Quiet Place. Other movies that I would say it's kind of in the same genre, same vibe and feel with, would be like After Earth with Will Smith and his son. It came out a few years ago. Um, Monster Hunter, kind of in the same vibe as that one. And I would say this movie is better than both of those movies. So if you liked those and you're in for that kind of like, let's just get into the action and have a fun, intense, and suspenseful thrill, then yeah, this is this is that. Um, another movie that we kind of shared, talk, we talked about with its similarities and also has Ariana Greenblatt in it, is... Love and Monsters. Kind of a Not similar as vibe. good as Love and Monsters. Not nearly as good as Love and Monsters. But just as good as its own right. Yeah, right. It's just as, it's as much of an enjoyable time at the theater as Love and Monsters was. And I think that's what you got to do for this movie. Just go to have an enjoyable time. Just go time. to have a good time. Get I, that. Did I already say this? It's not a quality movie, <laughs> but it's a quality experience. Get that movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's way fun. Audiences are actually pretty okay with it. 63% is where it's at on the tomato meter right now. That's not bad. And really, the critic response isn't surprising. <laughs> it's at a 37%. 37%. But, I mean, if you are going into it looking for it to be a super deep subplot, all these things, it, yeah, you're going to be pretty disappointed. But just go have fun. It's exciting. There's some jumps because, you know, there's a dinosaur. And I don't know. It's a fun time. Yeah, it definitely helped me to enjoy it more, having the right expectations. If you're expecting a Good performance from Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt. You got that. Yeah. If you're expecting epic action that doesn't stop, then you're good. There it is. <laughs> and just have a fun time at the theater, and Heck you're yeah. all set. Heck yeah. It didn't have a very big box office uh, opening weekend. Uh, only $12 million in the U.S., $8 million outside the U.S. for $20 million total. So I don't know if it's going to reach 65 see what I did there <laughs> okay sorry um, but no I, I really don't know that there was a ton of advertising done with it but I maybe it's it a week ago yeah right so maybe with some word of mouth that'll pick up a little bit because yeah just go it's have just fun a with fun it movie, yeah. yeah honestly I think I liked it better not just the last Jurassic World movie but the last two Jurassic World Dominion and Fallen Kingdom I thought this was more enjoyable for me definitely more enjoyable yeah yeah, not doesn't do all the things that Jurassic no. does, and it doesn't, you know, have but that same thing. It but. executes its own purpose in a much right. better way than the Jurassic movies have been doing. Yeah. Recently, yeah. it knows what it's about, and it doesn't try to do anything else. It stays so true. As to long that. as you go in with the right mindset, you'll have the best time. Yeah. Well, those are our thoughts on it, guys. Yeah. Thanks for checking this out. Hope you enjoyed our little review, and it was fun to just talk about it and share with you about Adam Driver's 65. Go check it out. Have a good one.